Hey everybody, welcome to the Creativity Cave. I'm Dina Rico and I'm thrilled to stamp with you today because I have such a fun card using the this little piggy stamp set. It's so cute, isn't it? So this card is super easy and look at the fun inside. So I really like this card. Let me show you how easy it comes together. First of all, I am going to I'm just looking for the stamp set. Here it is, it was under another stamp set. Um, that's kind of par for the course in my stamp room. This little piggy, isn't it so dang cute? All right, so let me show you how I put it together because like I said, it really is easy. Um, and we're gonna use a couple fun techniques on here. First of all, I've got some embossing paste. I've got some watercoloring. I've got some clear wink of Stella, all kinds of good stuff. Okay, so to start with, I'm going to stamp my sun, my image with some archival black. And the reason I chose archival black is because I'm going to watercolor with this. So I'm going to stamp that right on a scrap piece of paper. And then I'm going to die cut that with, oh, the stitched shape framelits. This is my Martha Stewart moment. It's ready. I, it was behind me. Okay, so then on the inside part, um, I'm going to stamp the piggy, but it comes with You Make Me Happy um, attached to the image, but I don't want that showing. So what I'm going to do is take a post-it note, and I'm going to just tear this off so that it's a little bit smaller. Okay. So I'm just putting my post-it over the words so that they're covered up. Okay, then what I'll do is once again, I'll take my black archival ink. I'm going to ink this up really good. I'm going to remove the post-it. This is a very important step. Do not skip it. And then I'll stamp it down onto my card like so. And then you can see there it is without the sentiment. I've thought about cutting it off, but I just haven't quite gotten to that point yet. <laughs> All right, and then um, there is a separate stamp that says dot dot dot, so she did. So we'll stamp that right there in its place. Okay, so I'm going to set those aside. Now what I want to do next is we'll let those dry really good. But then I also want to show you this cool technique of using embossing paste and some of our... Um, masks. Now these are called the Pretty Patter or Pattern Party Decorative Masks and I'm using the cloud one as you can see. I've also got my palette knives and they come three in a pack. And then I've also got my embossing paste. And the embossing paste is pretty awesome stuff. A couple notes about it. First of all, it does not come completely full. It's sold by weight, not by volume. So if yours doesn't appear full, that's actually by design. And the reason being is that um, they wanted you to be able to scoop it out and mix it up and have a little room in your container to do that. Okay, a couple tips though. Make sure you keep the lid covered um, so that it doesn't dry out. You can see I've been using this one for a little while, but you just scoop some up. Now I'm going to put my um, mask, my decorative mask down. I want to make sure that whatever I'm doing it, um, I, when I'm done, I will put my mask in the sink with some soapy water to clean it off right away because this will dry fa fairly quickly and it will also stick to your mask. So you want to make sure you clean it with just some warm soapy water. Same with your palette knife. Okay, so I've got a big scoop on here and I'm just gonna smear it around. Of course, you can see I have protected my work surface um, with just a scrap piece of paper to make sure that I don't get um, stuff all over. And you can see I've put quite a thick layer on here, um, but I'm gonna thin that out quite a bit actually. Okay, so. I'll just wipe the gook I have off on my hand. Now, in case you think, wow, I am using a ton for this, uh, it's not as much as you might think because I'm actually going to put a whole bunch of it back into my container. And that's kind of the beauty of this. Now, since I was doing clouds, I left my clouds white. I didn't, as in I didn't color the paste at all, but you totally can.
Okay. So I'm just kind of making sure I've got some everywhere and that looks pretty good. Now I'm going to pull this off and there we go. That looks awesome. I'm going to lift it up and set it over here to dry and then I'm going to come back and I'm going to clear off the excess paste on my background. So I just scraped all that up. I'll put that back in my paste jar. You can see it's really easy to um, conserve it I guess and then I'm just going to go over this one more time and scrape off the excess put that back in my jar cover my jar up and then I'm actually going to stop my video and bring this into the sink and clean it off and I will be right back all right I'm back <laughs> I've got my um mask all cleaned my palette knife all cleaned and I'm good to go so let's and then I'm also going to take my background paper and get rid of it because it has been contaminated so I'm going to grab another one hold on okay so let's finish up our stamping or coloring I guess I should say we have a little stamping there's a cute little cloud in this stamp set so I'm going to grab that and some soft sky ink and just stamp some clouds in the background here I think this is pretty sweet so there we go with our clouds and then I'm going to take my aqua painter and my powder pink ink pad I squeeze the lid to the pad so I get that color in the lid and then I'll use my aqua painter to color in my pig okay so I'll pick up the color over here and then I'm just going to color it all kind of smear the color all over my piggy. This is easy, easy watercoloring because frankly, I don't care how perfect it looks because it's a flying pig. Let's be honest. It's okay if it's not completely perfect. <laughs> and I am just adding a little extra color on its rump so that it looks just a touch darker. <laughs> And then I think I'll actually put a little bit more color in in the ear as well, just to kind of highlight it. I mean, nothing, again, nothing fancy at all. Um, and then, well, I'm actually going to leave this blank. Okay, so there we go. We'll set, oh, actually, we're going to take our clear wink of Stella and put some shimmer on those wings because, I mean, after all, a flying pig clearly must have shimmery wings, right? I mean, that's just got to be how it is. <laughs> okay, now I will uh, take this, and I've actually die cut a black scallop circle. This is the largest in the layering circles, and then this is the largest of the uh, stitched shapes circles. And I will adhere the two together, like so. And then we'll put this on our card in just a minute. Now let's finish up the inside of our card. So again, we have our cute little pig. We'll open that up so you can see what we're doing again. And I'll pick up some more color from the lid of my ink pad and color this piggy just in the same way as the last one. And this is just Whisper White cardstock. Um, if I wanted to do a, like a professional job of coloring, I would definitely have used watercolor but like I said this is just kind of sloppy watercoloring it's not fancy at all um, we're just getting color on there okay so I've got my pig I'm going to put a little dot of color in the center of that flower then to make things a little easier I'm going to pull out my markers now I have been I store my markers in a clear case I have two sets of them so you can see um, they're all in here so I'm going to take my berry burst and my lemon lime twist markers out and those are just easy to store and actually I store them like this up in my cupboard so that the ink is flat it's not pooling to one end or the other in my markers. Okay, now I'm going to use my lemon lime twist to kind of color in the little grass lines on here. Again, you can see this is not fancy coloring. It's just kind of bloppity coloring. And I'll even go over the stem a little bit. Then I'll take the Berry Burst marker and color the daisy just so that there's a little bit of fun color to this because after all 
this is a one happy piggy because she believed she could and she did so there we go all right and all that I'm gonna do now is adhere this to the inside of my card all right now the card I used as you can see is a what I like to call a long card so I'm actually going to take and I just dropped my trimmer when I came back in <laughs> so let me pick that up oh goodness all right um no problem though. I'm going to score this and let me explain why. I don't normally score my cards, but I find it works pretty well when you do on a card that's cut this way and I'll show you why in just a second. So I'm scoring this with my scoring blade at five and a half inches. And the main reason why I don't score my cards too often is because I'm pretty lazy. And um, I actually, I sort of dragged the paper cutting blade on there. So, but look at how nice that looks. Okay, I'm going to grab another piece of cardstock, cut the long way, and I want you to see how this is a bad example. Hold on. Sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, what I'm trying to show you is that when you fold these the long way, look at that. You get kind of those goofy crinkles. And you don't always get a nice crease. You get kind of a bumpy crease. But look at this crease. There's no bumps at all. And that is the difference. And the reason that is is because you are going across the grain. Um, I don't normally experience that when I fold a piece of cardstock this way. Because this is going with the grain. And so it folds much nicer without bumps. But when you're doing it this way, you get those bumpies. Now that's kind of picky. Generally speaking, I don't care, but I just wanted to point that out in this video for you so you could see what the difference is. All right. Now having done all that, let's adhere it and wrap this up because we're pretty much done. Very, very easy. By the way, do you see this? I accidentally drug my cutting blade across there instead of my scoring blade and that's why that's there. And I was trying to hide it on the inside of my card. Oh, and then this just stuck to the background it's okay don't worry okay so there's the inside of the card now our outside let's check and see Ooh, still a little wet and I think part of the reason is because this is um, a thicker layer of the embossing paste so it takes just a little longer to dry so hold on all right our panel is now nice and dry which is wonderful so let's finish up our card and I'm going to adhere the clouds right to the top of my card front. And then, ooh, actually I meant to tie, I did this when I was making the card too. I don't know why I keep forgetting this. But I'm going to tie some ribbon onto my card. I'm just looking for my ribbon because it was here a minute ago. Ah, here we go. I'm using some of the black shimmer ribbon, which is just so fun because it has a little bit of sparkle in it, which totally coordinates with the wings of my little piggy. So since I, well, actually this is kind of coming up, I was going to say, I'll just tack that down. Um, what I'm going to do is pop up my circle right on top, and then I'll tie the ribbon right over. Ugh. I hate it when I stick dimensionals to myself. It totally happens. <laughs> okay. So we'll just attach our piggy like so to our card. And then I'm just going to tie a knot at the bottom. Just pull that back slightly. And sometimes it's just a little easier to take and cut the ribbon off. I Although I typically like to cut my ribbon um, after I've tied it. Okay. So there we go. And you can see it's just right at that level. I'll trim the ends. And isn't this 
an adorable, sweet card with a fun surprise on the inside. I just love it. So I hope you've enjoyed this. Of course, all of the supplies, dimensions, and uh, links to my online store are on my blog. You can find the link in the description of this video. Don't forget to click on the little box right here to subscribe to my channel and never miss any fun things. And of course, if you need to order anything, I would so appreciate your business. Don't forget when you order through the Creativity Cave, I have a great VIP rewards program that I'd love to welcome you to. Thank you so much for stamping with me today, guys. We'll see you later. Bye.